If you're in dire need of some last minute gift ideas for the special guys in your life, then you may have just stumbled upon the perfect video. Shout outs to Starbucks, AKA Keurig. Instead of heading to Marshalls and grabbing some electric tie organizer or some massage roller or whatever you get there, why not get him some awesome cologne? And guess what? In this video, I got five of them that I wanna share with you right now. It's decaf, don't worry. Way too late for the real thing. Burning the midnight oil for you guys. Merry Christmas! And if you're not into scanty claws, then happy holidays. Either way, tis the season of giving, and giving means you gotta give gifts. I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? But I'm almost certain you know a handful of people in your circle that you just never know what to get them. Especially with the emergence of online shopping and Amazon, I feel it's becoming harder and harder to buy things for people. Because whenever you need something, it's just so dang easy to just click a button and there you have a wonderfully packaged little gift brought to your door two days later if you got Prime. This holiday season, I would implore you to take a break from those websites like eBay and Amazon and opt for websites like fragrancebuy.ca because fragrances, in my opinion, remain a solid option as a gift idea because they can be a wonderful combination of being extremely practical but also allow the purchaser to really pick something specific to that person. You get to be as creative as you want while buying something that they'll get a lot of good use out of. Unless they're allergic to perfume or something, then you're kind of <laughs> Or they live and work in a fragrance-free environment, or maybe they don't have a nose, <laughs> then it probably wouldn't work. But just like shoes, hats, clothing, there is a massive variety of colognes out there. There are fragrances that smell like woody roses and coffee cake and even Jolly Rancher candy. And if you already know what sorts of fragrances your guy would be into, then great, you're fine. But if not, I wanna offer these five fragrances as gift suggestions. And why I will not be talking about Bleu de Chanel or Dior Sauvage or Prada Lhomme, I'm gonna try and switch it up, okay? Law, Ruffle. Now what if you're trying to buy a fragrance for a more mature man? Perhaps someone heading to or past retirement age Normally, I would recommend an older fragrance that distinguishes itself from the modern releases that crowd the shelves currently. But not only is this one old school, it's also extremely affordable. My first recommendation is Zeno by Davidoff, or Zino. It's not Cool Water, which is the much more popular fragrance by Davidoff, but Zeno came out in 1986, back when men's fragrances were for men. Although you may have seen Zeno sell for next to nothing at a local Ross or TJ Maxx, it's actually quite a sophisticated fragrance made by quite a fairly known perfumer. You know, the guy that helped make Fahrenheit, Gucci Pour Homme, Gucci Rush. Safe to say that Michel knows his way around a men's perfume laboratory or a mixology zone. I don't know what it's called. What? What's the name of the place you make fragrances? The notes in Zeno scream prestigious dude. It's woody, it has some lavender, rose, and of course, patchouli. Us old dudes, we love us some patchouli. Patchouli is a green fragrance note that is strong, semi-sweet, a little bit earthy, and it seems to show up in a lot of prominent men's fragrances. In fact, it's also famously showcased in my next cologne suggestion, Amen by Mugle. While not quite classified as a cheapy, Amen, or Angel Men, as it used to be known as, is often found for discounted rates on websites like Fragrance Buy. What's nice is you're not only limited to a standard 100 mil size, you can get a smaller little 50 mil for the more conservative guy. Or you can just ball out and buy the limited edition chrome bottle, which I'm still looking for. Please let me know if you have it and you're selling it because I want to ball out too. Amen has a large amount of patchouli, yes, but it also develops into a really nice kind of dark raspberry chocolate dry down that commands positive attention. And speaking of attention, this fragrance, it will definitely get a person noticed. And if you're not careful, it might be the wrong type of attention. Ruffle. Amen is just a very strong fragrance that wasn't designed with subtlety in mind. Get this one for the confident man in your life that maybe doesn't work in a close-knit office. 
if they do work in an office, you don't really have to veer too far away from Amen because within that same fragrance line, you can find an alternative that is a little funkier, it's more contemporary, and it's fairly safe to wear indoors. Amen Ultimate is the newest fragrance for men released by Mugler at the time of this video's release, at least. And it strips away the brutish aspects of Amen, leaving a pleasant, sweet cappuccino fragrance. Now these bottle designs aren't for everyone, I get that. But I think we can all agree that they really stand out. Although this one isn't as discounted as some of the other fragrances I've mentioned, you'll at least have the satisfaction of knowing that you're getting them something fairly current. So it's less likely that other people are gonna smell like them when they put it on. It's still new enough that it has that certain level of exclusivity and uniqueness while still being safe enough that it won't rub anyone the wrong way. And is there a wrong way to rub? Sorry. This is a great choice for almost any man that doesn't mind a bit of sweetness in their life. Perhaps a bit more youthful overall, but I wouldn't classify it as a high schooler scent. If you want one of those, then you have got to consider Versace Eros. I bet Arrow stands for eye roll off screen because I'm sure a lot of the fragrance collectors watching are doing just that. And I get it guys, they do. Versace Eros is an extremely common fragrance, but its popularity remains so high because it's strong and very likable, even in its current formulation. High schoolers, they need a fragrance they can rely on because a lot of young men rely on getting as many confidence boosters as they possibly can get. If you're concerned that Eros might not be subtle enough for school, don't worry. There's nothing subtle about being in high school. Those kids are loud and obnoxious. So is Eros. Eros is obnoxious. It's a perfect match. But if you're looking for an alternative to Eros, the flanker Eros Flame is actually pretty decent. Despite what people say online, it has a similar likability but increased versatility. The fiery nature gives it more wearability when the weather is a bit warmer. But for my last choice for fragrance gift ideas for men, it can probably be worn by every guy. And like Amen, it's another modern take on an old favorite. It's a great option for the man in your life because it's a reinterpretation of a cologne they're probably really familiar with, whether they used it or not. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit fresh, and it has that added layer of sophistication. If you want to impress the man in your life, I would suggest going with Le Mal Essence de Parfum. While not the newest fragrance from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, Essence de Parfum is my recommendation for gift giving because it smells great. It smells a bit different. And it also has a really striking contemporary presentation that is visually appealing. From the robust glass, Oh, ASMR. Rose gold little details in the copper tin container. The man in your life will be quite impressed seeing this. Now guys, what are some of your biggest recommendations as gift fragrances? If you can veer away from Sauvage and Blue de Chanel, that'd be great, but if you really think they're awesome still, then go for it. And if you wanna see a video where this guy's brother almost kills me, then click on it right here. I'm gonna switch it up this time, this direction. Great. <laughs> Seriously, I almost died. It was awful.